Hello, shamanettes, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today I thought we would discuss collagen and how to build collagen in our skin naturally. Now, as most of you know, as you get older, collagen in your body starts to deplete. It just happens. I really value uh, doing things on a daily basis that can really help me look great and feel great. And that's where collagen really does come into that picture. Okay, before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube so I can continue to make great content for you. Let's get going. Okay, so 90% of the collagen in your body is called type one, and it's found in skin, tendons, and internal organs. So of course we know this, we know that as we get older and things start to ache more, uh, we notice our skin starts start to sag. A lot of this has to do with the collagen beginning to be depleted. The enzymes are called collagenasis. I'm not the most amazing at pronunciation, okay? So collagenasis. They start to break down. And when they break down, obviously we get wrinkles and that sort of thing. And I say that with love because I'm really pro-aging and I think my wrinkles are well-earned and I'm not, I don't hate them at all, but I want them to soften. Collagen makes up a third of all protein in the body, more than any other type of protein in our body by mass. Okay, so how do we build collagen? How do we get it to become greater in our body? Now, some of these you know about, and some I think you're going to be a little bit surprised. I'm just going to go down the list. Um, one of them is hyaluronic acid. So believe it or not, hyaluronic acid can really help to build collagen. Now, it's not like you're going to do one thing and your collagen is going to grow. It's more like you do everything all at once, right? I think we're very brainwashed by this idea that if something hurts, you go take one pill and it gets better. Well, that's the medical model. That's not actually how your body operates. Your body is an organic you are an organic being. So doing organic things will really help it to grow and improve, okay? It's not like one pill, all right? We have to get beyond this. So hyaluronic acid is one thing. Some people get hyaluronic acid injections um, to help build their hyaluronic acid for different reasons, but that can be of help. Not, I'm not encouraging you to do that. I'm just saying that happens. It's also found in things like beans, root vegetables, and soy. And also doing topical hyaluronic acid can help to plump the skin. Um, and in the end, that does help to build collagen. So the one hyaluronic hyaluronic acid I use is right here by Truth Treatments. I love this one. I use this one all the time. Bone broth. So this is actually a concentrate right here. This is called Beauty in the Broth. This is a brand that contacted me recently and I've done my homework with this and I am, I love this. I think this is phenomenal. It comes to your doorstep. It's pre-made. I've made my own bone broth before. Uh, it tasted nasty. Now I'm not like chef girl, you know, I did not get a Martha Stewart gene, so that could have been why. So this particular brand, I'm gonna toot this horn for just a minute, but it's vegetarian fed, it's organic, range-free chicken, grass-fed, it's non-GMO, which I always look for, it's paleo, hello. All right, so these are some of the benefits of getting a really good bone broth when it comes to not just your general health as well as collagen. It has amino acids that boost brain function for greater focus. It's a natural hydrator, I mean, you need to drink a ton of water. I drink 64 ounces a day. I know I'm like floating around peeing like every five minutes. Bone broth also has um, concentrated collagen and protein that helps to plump the skin. So this is a really valuable thing you can do internally and daily in order to plump your skin. It's also a great snack. They actually send it with a little container that you can carry it around in like a little mug, what I call like a sippy cup, right? And you can go around and sip it. And I love that. And sometimes just that is enough to carry me through. Or maybe I'll add a little bit of vegetables to it, maybe a little chicken or tofu or something like that. It's delicious. It's absolutely so good for you. Bone broth helps to rebuild muscles, maintain joint health, reduce recovery time if you're in surgery, aids in digestion, builds immunity, and it has naturally occurring collagen because it stems from bones. Even though it costs more, I think in the end, I really notice a difference in my health and in my skin. Okay, something else that's going to help you grow your collagen, help to improve your collagen in your body is taking internal vitamins. C. So internal and external vitamin C, it's one of the most, if not the most important vitamin you make because your body does not actually make its own vitamin C. You have to take vitamin C. Most of us are depleted in vitamin C. And if you just eat oranges, that's not enough. It's not going to give your body what you need. I actually take a thousand milligrams. I'm supposed to take it three times a day, but I never remember the, the midday thing. So I do it morning and night. What your body doesn't need, it eliminates. If you can't OD on this, okay? It really helps to build collagen. It also helps to even out your skin tone, supports collagen and elastin production, increases moisture and hydration, 
diminishes dark spots, helps with antioxidant, is an antioxidant, reduces redness, it lightens and brightens your skin. I mean, vitamin C is like huge. I mean, it also can find it, of course, like we said, oranges, citruses, um, green leafy vegetables, papaya, strawberries, black, blah, 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 broccoli, that sort of thing. So that's internal vitamin C. External vitamin C, my favorite thing is transdermal sea serum. This has 80% vitamin C in it, 80% which is huge. Vitamin C needs to be in the first three on the ingredient deck. Where the vitamin C shows up on the ingredient deck, you're looking for these words, asorbyl tetraisopalmitate. I have to say it slowly because it's a mouthful. Asorbyl tetraisopalmitate. That's what you're looking for. If it comes up anywhere past the fifth place on the ingredient deck, there's not enough in there to make a difference on your skin. I recently did some research on one of my very favorite skin serums that I was really wanting to buy in order to try it because I was so intrigued by the brand because they've had a whole slew of advertising and celebrities coming out saying how amazing it is. It's $350. Yes, I was considering buying this, which is insane. In any case, I did my research. Asorbyl tetraisopalmitate came up number 10 on the ingredient deck. Everything else that was before it that are actually the placements where they have the highest ingredient levels were all what I call cosmetics, cosmetic ingredients. In other words, it was what it feels like, what it, um, what it smells like, but they weren't active and they didn't do anything. I would have been spending $350 on something that was basically not very effective, which is terrifying to think that I would have done that. So I mean, really do your homework, look for those words because externally for building collagen, for building a stronger, healthier skin, you really want to do high levels of vitamin C, at least 50%. Okay, so here's some other things that can help to build collagen, aloe vera, uh, taken topically or internally. So that's interesting. I've not tried that. So if you have, please, please put that down below. I'd be very interested to hear about that. Ginseng is an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Um, helps with to slow aging. Aging, you can take it in tea, tincture, supplements, that sort of thing. Actually eating a lot of antioxidants can really help. They protect the body from free radicals, things like blueberries, green tea, yerba mate, licorice extract, mulberry extract, pomegranate extract, you know, also cinnamon, basil, oregano, thyme, essential oils, things like that can really help with antioxidants. All of that is really helpful when it comes to building collagen. Okay, so another great um, collagen builder antioxidant is retinol, which is a vitamin A. So you can take vitamin A internally. I do. I take one a day, which I think is amazingly helpful to your body, but also externally, if you put it on your skin, it's in the form of retinol. So the one I take here, it's a 5% retinol truth treatments. As you know, everything I hold up is truth treatments because I love this brand. It's just such a incredible brand. This is 5%, which is super strong. And I know some of you have tried even as high as 1% and you get a lot of irritation from it. So, you know, be really mindful. Most people when they use 1% can maybe use it twice a week and it causes a irritation even at twice a week because it starts to, t to slough off the dead skin that's on the surface layer of your skin. 5% many of you wouldn't even be able to touch. I've been using it for a long time so I can actually use the 5% three times a week, believe it or not. In taking off that dead top layer, it makes your skin rejuvenate. So this rejuvenating is what makes your skin produce more collagen, especially if you're giving it a lot of collagen, in, you know, internally with bone broth, vitamin C, like I said, you can even take a collagen smoothie. I make this one sometimes. This is 20 grams of collagen per scoop. Love this. Uh, that can also really help. But by by using retinol, you're telling your skin, come on, let's, let's, let's have some turnover here. And that really helps your skin to produce more. So great trick is to use retinol and to take vitamin A internally. All right, another um, strategy is red light therapy. It's also called low level, low level, low, low, low level laser light therapy. That is such a mouthful or LLLT. So for those of you who use this, it actually helps to increase collagen growth, improves wrinkles and skin elasticity. It's non-invasive. I've actually done this before. I really liked it. I did find it a little spendy. You can get the red light therapy in a, like a face mask that you wear, you put on for like 20 minutes every day and that helps. Those can run two or $300. If you have one you like, if you've done this, I would love to hear you write down below because I've not experimented with it too terribly much, but it definitely helps with your skin creating more collagen. Okay, so another way that you can help to build collagen is doing some external things like microneedling. Now, some of you hate microneedling. Some of you love microneedling, but they use a small, needles and the small needles puncture your skin and you can have you can look terrible right for several days because you just you get holes all over your face right and there's blood and yeah 
But what it does is it tells your skin, again, like, come on, rejuvenate, rejuvenate. And that helps your skin to heal itself and create more collagen. So that's why those things are valuable. Peels do something very similar. This is the peel that I use at home. It's Image. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician, so I can buy this. But getting peels done is also really, really helpful. This helps to, again, to slough off the top layer of the skin. And done continually, all of these are about continuous, right? You don't just do it and suddenly you look better. Well, you might notice that, but generally speaking, you do it over a long stretch, and that's what really makes the difference. All right, another way to build collagen is microdermabrasion. Now, some of you are very familiar with this. You basically go to an esthetician, and they use a machine that has very tiny crystals. And it does sort of a, the same thing as microneedling without as serious of a trauma to the skin. It basically exfoliates the top layer and draws out impurities using sort of a suction technique with those tiny crystals. It's non-invasive, it doesn't use chemicals, which I really love. It removes dead skin, vacuums the loosened skin cells and debris away, which is wonderful. Increased circulation, opens the skin up to hydration and delivery of nutrients to the skin cells and stimulates collagen production, which is fabulous. So obviously you have to go somewhere to do that. You can also buy a home kit like what I've done. Even though I'm licensed, uh, I did buy this. So this, I got this from Skin Store. This is a dermabrasion handheld home device. I'll put a link down below for this. This run you know, about 200 bucks, I think, because it's 2021 um, holiday. I think there's some sales around this. So do check that out. I'll put a link down below. But this is the machine that I use and I use it about once a week. I really have to watch the intensity of it. It is very intense. I went way too intense because that is my personality <laughs> to just go for the gusto. And it took me probably five days to heal. Couldn't film. I was like, okay, lesson learned. Start with the lowest setting, dude. I definitely say if you want a home uh, machine that these are definitely worthwhile and you really only have to replace the little nozzle. I think it's like $20 a month if you use it consistently. So another way to improve collagen production is to actually take a vitamin especially formulated to help you develop collagen. There's many of these out there. I did hold up my, my protein powder, which I do. Um, this is also really wonderful. Truth Treatments makes this. This is collagen vitamins. So these are great. Um, you know, you can find these kind of everywhere. I would definitely do your homework on the quantities to be sure that you're having the highest level of collagen. All right, taking collagen internally helps to strengthen bone and blood vessels, helps you um, improve blood flow, plump and thicken the skin. So all good, right? Again, this is something that you would do every day to see a long-term result. Okay, I just wanna cover two areas that are myths that people often say about collagen. I just wanna quickly do this because so I've had a few people say these things and I'm like, yeah, no, that's not true. So one is that external collagen cream. So collagen creams typically, now I haven't done research on every single cream, so this is a blanket statement. Do your homework. I always encourage you to do your homework on things. The collagen molecule is just too big to get beneath the stratum corneum in your skin. I don't know of any that have been specially formulated in order to get beneath the layer and actually plump up the skin. So I'd be very interested to see if those of you who have actually used creams that have noticed a difference because, you know, technically speaking, that molecule cannot get beneath your the dermis layer in order to do anything. So very interested to hear about that. Um, also adding collagen to your morning coffee. Coffee is not the best thing for anti-aging. Now I love coffee. I have a cup of coffee every morning. I'm gonna have one till the day I drop dead because I just love coffee. So adding collagen to your morning caffeine is counterproductive basically, because caffeine is dehydrating, collagen is meant to plump and it needs hydration to do that and it's hydrating. So you're basically canceling each other out. So end of that story is do not put collagen in your morning coffee. I hope this has been helpful for you. I learned a lot by doing my homework around this. And you know, I've seen a big difference in my skin when it comes to having more collagen, my skin being more plumped by doing plumped it. I've been doing all of these for a long time and I've really noticed a difference. I'm still aging. I'm just gonna age. That's because, you know, hello, this is life. But I've noticed a difference. I've noticed how great I feel, how my skin looks, that sort of thing. So I think, you know, put whichever ones into practice you feel are best for you. Please write down below any comments you might have. I always respond and I love to hear from you. Hope you're doing great. Happy holidays 2021 and I hope you enjoy your collagen. Have a great day.